Black jerseys, SMU in the all whites. They won the toss and deferred. So the two lane offense will have the first crack at it. And a return out to about the 23 yard line. Punting unit on for the green wave. And the ball is loose at the 45 yard line. And Tulane has it. And a miscue by TQ Jackson, the freshman who was back deep. And the this just looks like a, to me, just a muff punt back there. Understanding that TQ Jackson, remember his first time playing last week, he just got L for the quarterback, Michael Pratt. And they do pick up the first down to the 30 yard line in the backfield and it's first and 10. Pratt play action, has a man downfield into the end zone and the touchdown to Jones. And the green wave able to capitalize on the SMU miscue. Think about this, you get one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, first and 10 play, you just got the first down and you just throw the ball up and Michael Pratt, you talk about throwing a dime, that by the true freshman. A career high in their upset win of the Tigers their last time out. And a first down run here for Bentley. We mentioned that point on the field, that's going to be a big loss for the SMU offense. Bouchel on second down with time and first down yardage again. And look at this after the catch from Kylan Granson, the senior. Danny Gray is the motion man and he'll get it here on the jet sweep. Good stiff arm inside the 20 with first down yardage, diving for the pylon. Did he stay in bounds? They are gonna say yes he did. Touchdown Mustangs. You talk about blocking, right? Watch number 83, Kylan Granson, a nice block. Remember, he made the big catch to set up the play, and then all of a sudden he returns the favor by blocking for Danny Gray, an outstanding job of blocking up front. Field goal in their victory over Memphis. And he will motion man, Bouchel. Looking deep down the near sideline, puts it up for Danny Gray. Be his best effort of the year. And on a very gusty day in NOLA, that kick is good. Yard rushing for Tulane in that first quarter. 146 yards for SMU, looking for a third down conversion. And Danny Gray with a broken tackle. SMU needs to add somebody to get him locked up. Pass across the middle and caught. Tyler Page stays on his feet. The cutback inside the 25 yard. Already on the books today. This from 45. And he hooked it. That is no good. The first miss of the season. Junior out of Dallas. Trevor Denbo coming off the edge. Good pass protection pickup to buy some time for Pratt. Down the far sideline and the catch. And around here, first down, terrific cutback. Down inside the 44, fat one. Working out of the pistol on second down, looking for some ground game, and they find some. Big burst. Stephon. To the same play. Yeah, second and goal. Pratt again, this little spin move. Still no word from the officials, and there it is. He's in. Touchdown to Lane, and they retake the lead. That's just a good job there by Michael Pratt. He ran the same play, but this time lean and found just enough. Just find a little bit of a hole and rolls all the way into the end zone. It's a good job by Michael. Possible fumble and not being set. That time Pratt took over and scored. Bouchelle looking deep down the middle. Out near midfield and the catch is made by Rashi Wright. Bentley again. His quarterback, Bouchel, looking for a block downfield. So far in the half for Bentley, they'll use him in the play action here. Has the time to look. Looking right the whole way, the fade. Has it up in the air for Rice. And Rashi brings it down. Touchdown, SMU.
I said it a little bit earlier. They look to the outside and they get one on one and that's just easy. That's just a pitch and catch for Shane Bouchelle. He throws it up and he allows his six foot one 189 pound wide receiver saying hey don't forget about me. I can make some of those big time plays. Second and ten. Hutterson another nice run. So the the ground ever in this second quarter. Trying to take the lead into the locker room. Well, they got work to do. Good second effort. Cameron Hemp for Merrick Glover, who's got that one through to even things up at 17 apiece for Tulane. Hey, everybody. I'm Wheels. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. All right. Enjoy the second half highlights. Playing Pink Floyd's The Wall or, or maybe a little Gloria Gaynor, I will survive. Right now, Tulane trying to seize the opportunity. Hold this game down is the reason why Tulane is, I think, right now with this game tied. Another night has been a problem for Tulane through the first four games. And not one here. Hutterson inside the 10, breaks a couple of tackles and hits pay dirt for the green wave. As he sets his new career high in rushing, Hutterson also gets two lane. The this is all about vision. Watch the vision of Hutterson. He's going toward the left, but he puts that left foot in the ground, cuts it all the way back. The pressure on body hard for a guy to bring down Hutterson for the end zone. Against Florida last week. We're going to try the reverse here, and they'll throw off it, and wide open at midfield is Rice breaking a tackle. Hauled out of bounds at the 20-yard line, and Bentley will shift over that way, and he'll run it that way, trying to get the corner, and he does. Touchdown, Ulysses Bentley. And a PAT away from tying it up. That's just great blocking up front, Beth. The left allow your running back to just get one on one. So you get one on one right there. You make a guy miss so just a little high step hide and get one on one with your running back and a tackler and bear on the field. Bouchelle's been terrific on third down tonight. He will drop it off underneath and see if Danny Gray can do the work for him. And Gray's going to get the first down, breaking a tackle at midfield. Gray inside the 30, and the defender. Monroe got an angle on him. Yarder, this a 33-yard attempt. And he's got it. Right. A touchdown will be great for Tulane right now. Amari Jones, first down, stepping over a defender for additional yardage. For Tulane, their 10th of the night. Pratt going up top. Has a man behind the defense down to the 10 yard. Locust hauled it in. And now second and goal. Pratt delays and heads for the end zone and he's in. And Tulane will grab the lead to start out the fourth quarter. And then Michael Pratt just says, you know what? If you're going to give me the lane, I'm going to take it. That was a design run. They've been waiting for that play. We always. Third touchdown of the day for Pratt. Bouchelle throws it to the outside. And second down and three. And the run will pick up the first down. Number Beth Mullins Kirk. Playing a ton of plays tonight. 66 plays. They have now gone over 500 yards, and Bentley will add a. Man, I have to get around. From the 16-yard line, Bouchelle finds his man, and it's Danny Gray again for a first down inside the 10-yard line with Bentley. Bouchelle will throw it into the end zone, back shoulder touchdown, and it's Danny Gray. Second TD throw for Shane Bouchelle, and Gray continues to have a huge night. It's just one on one on the outside and watch the route. That's look the route by Gray. Just the quick fake hesitation and it bought just a little bit of job by the quarterback and wide receiver creating some space where nothing was there. And looking for an upset the likes of which they haven't seen in a while for the green wave. Heaves it downfield and it's caught. Fat Watts has it for a first down. 
three-point game down the stretch. Out into the flat, a completion, and another first down. Off if nothing's there. Just a three-man rush here for SMU. Pratt will throw it downfield, and he's got a man caught for a first down. If you're Michael Pratt. Pratt thought about Amari Jones out of the backfield. Now he'll have to improvise. Pratt, pressure coming. Reverses direction. Back outside around the 25 and chucks it up. The field goal to tie it, 27-yarder, and it is good. So that will... Bouchelle rifles it across the middle, first down, caught by Tyler Page, and he's inside the 40-yard line, yards out. On its way, and it doinks off the right, upright, and it is no good. Go. They have some late magic here. Pratt, under duress, extends the play. He's going to run with it. A lot of room sliding down close to the 30. Pratt with the time. Pass is en route into the back of the end zone. Pratt against Token. Pressure, it's intercepted. It is picked off by Brandon Crossley. And a big stop for the SMU defense. Low snap in place, and Chris Nagar splits the uprights for SMU, and they win it in overtime, 37-34.